PM Narendra Modi and French President Emmanuel Macron to co-chair the first International Solar Alliance Summit in New Delhi today. The summit to be attended by heads of 23 nations to deliberate on finance mechanism for the promotion of solar energy, crowdfunding and technology transfer. India and France signed 14 pacts in various fields including solar energy, climate change and defence. PM says reciprocal logistics support agreement between armed forces of India and France is a milestone in the history of defence cooperation between the two countries. India and France strongly condemn terrorism in all its forms and manifestations, including cross-border terror, terror-related incidents in both countries. Two nations agree to effectively contain threats of terrorism and radicalization as part of the strategic cooperation. French President Emmanuel Macron interacts with students in Delhi, calls upon researchers to come to France for further exchange of ideas between the two countries. President Ramnath Kovind, Vice President M. Venkai Naidu and Prime Minister Modi received the heads of state and heads of government participating in the International Solar Alliance at Rashtrapati Bhavan in New Delhi. They were accorded ceremonial reception at Rashtrapati Bhavan. President Ramnath Kovind begins his five-day visit to Mauritius and Madagascar. In the first leg, President Kovind will reach Mauritian capital, Port Louis, where he will be the chief guest at the celebrations commemorating 50 years of independence. GST Council decides to extend the current tax exemptions on imported goods for a further six-month period beyond 31st March this year. Move enables exporters to continue availing exemptions on their imports up to 1st October 2018. Union Minister Smriti Rani attends a function in Mumbai yesterday to honour women in the country. She said that women in the country are playing leading roles in different walks of life. She also said that strength of India lies in the values and commitment to family of Indian women. By election for Lok Sabha seats of Uttar Pradesh's Gorakhpur and Pulpur and Bihar's Araria begins amid tight security arrangements. In Uttar Pradesh, a total of 22 candidates are contesting from Pulpur and 10 from Gorakhpur seat. While in Bihar, seven candidates are in the frame. The counting of votes will take place on Wednesday. European Investment Bank and Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited have signed a loan agreement for a second line of credit of 150 million euros on non-sovereign basis in New Delhi. The line of credit is for the tenure of 15 years. Commerce Minister Suresh Prabhu has been assigned additional charge of Civil Aviation Ministry. The post had fallen vacant after President Ramnath Kovind accepted resignation of TDP's Ashok Gajapati Raju. RSS has re-elected Bhayaji Joshi as General Secretary of the organization for a period of three years. The decision was announced in the Akhil Bharatiya Pratinidhi Sabha meeting in Nagpur yesterday. This will be his fourth term continuously as the General Secretary. US President Donald Trump is positive on talks with North Korea. He said that North Korea has promised to hold missile tests through our meetings and he believes that North Korea will honor that commitment. India's 22-year-old Akhil Sharon backs gold in men's 50-meter rifle three-position final at ISSF World Cup in Mexico. This is India's fourth gold medal of the competition after Shahzad Rizvi, Manu Bakar and Om Prakash Metharwal won gold for the country. India named a 31-member Indian track and field team, including 13 women, for the upcoming Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast in Australia starting next month.